What's good? It's your boy J Bo, and today I'm gonna keep my promise, and I'm gonna uh, show you my New Balance collection. Um, my New Balance collection, it's not like a lot of hype stuff. It's pretty much like stuff that I've seen and stuff that I grabbed uh, over the last few years. Um, I say that my uh, respect for New Balance has grown because of the stuff that they're doing with like the 550. The um, 9060, the 327, and so forth and so on. All the different the collaborations and stuff they've been doing. And then it's just something different and some refreshing. So, you know, I pretty much, you know, I, I just, I respect what they do. Uh, I guess I'm going to grab, first thing I'm going to grab is this right here. Um, I think this is, this may be like a windbreaker pack it called, it's called. But uh, I had got this from a local sneaker shop back in the day. A local sneaker shop called Arsenal is here um, where I'm from. And, you know, I grabbed these. I seen these. I like the colors. It had that blue and that vote color. Blue, vote, and black with the 3M back piece. You know, and like I said, uh, this color, this colorway, I really like it. This remind me of like a Sprite colorway, just some vibrant, some different. So that's the first one. All right, let's keep it moving. And another one. It's also a 574. I grabbed this from a local uh, sneaker shop. Also, uh, you know, it, like I say, it's nothing special. It's not like a collab piece or nothing like that, but it's what I like. It's something that caught my eyes and that color of that, that light green, dark green with the red and the cream in it, I think it's a well balanced. You can bring this out during the fall time, you know, pretty much any time. Just keep it going. And another one. Also a 574. Oh, by the way, you know, I got a lot of uh, a lot of 574s. I mean, I know some people don't like 574s, but I like 574s. I mean, it's a comfortable shoe. You can just throw it on. You can go throughout your day. You can go shopping. You can you can go wash the car. You can go take a walk in them. So it's a pretty versatile shoe, and you can you can just pretty much dress it um, like just chill, like on some chill time. Um, so. Once again, you know, this is, the, and I'm a sucker for camo. I have a lot of camo shoes, a lot of camo things. So with this shoe right here, like I say, it's another 574. It's that, that gray and that um, Volt green, almost like an Air Max 95 neon color. And like I said, this shoe right here was like, you know, it caught my eyes it, um, with that, with the, and with the gray, and the, like the camo print right here along the uh, sole of the shoe and a little camo print right here that, that got me in and, and, and the combination with that colorway that pulled me in and the suede on these shoes right here ain't that bad neither it's not like the long long hair suede but it's kind of got a little long long hair on it uh it's not too long but it's it's, a, it's all right suede man okay i'm gonna get off the 574s i'm gonna just grab some stuff from over here and um I had already did a review on these, the 9060, and I was just saying the, the reason why I grabbed this shoe because it gives me that um, that retro futuristic modern retro vibe, and like I say, um, I got this shoe too because I think it represents me a little bit with my um, like I say my new respect for New Balance. Like you see, I didn't show 574, so I've been buying New Balances for a long time. But I did. I just didn't never know about the numbers and all that. I just grabbed new balances that I seen, and the, a lot of the ones that I seen was, 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 were the five seven four. So with this shoe, it's a new model, so I can kind of keep up with it a little bit better than you know the ones of the past. And um, like I say, it it, it kind of represent my old love for new balance, which I always was grabbing new balances here and there, and my new respect for them. And it's that retro futuristic. So I so that's the old no, the old love new love combination like I was saying and this is a new model so it's like a model that I'm familiar with and a model that I you know I recognize so this represent the new love and the new respect for new balance that I have so and the second one this is a 530 it and like I say the crazy story behind this shoe right here is um you know um and I'll show a little bit more of it but uh I got a quick story behind this shoe right here. Me and um, me and a friend, me and one of my friends, um, we we love shoes, and you know we 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 go to places like Ross when Ross used to have shoes. A place down here where I'm from called Rugged Warehouse, or any kind of like 
discount stores sometimes they used to have like nice shoes nice quality shoes i don't know if they do no more i mean i haven't seen none in a while but back you know a little while back you could you could actually find some good some good shoes for low prices and um he was at um it was rugged warehouse at the time and he hit me up and he's done that uh many times with me and i did the same for him but he hit me up and he was like man they got these new balances man and they only want like you know $25 for him and I said okay let me see him so he sent me the picture of these right here you know like I said it's nothing it's not a hype shoe it's nothing crazy about it but you know I kind of like the shoe so I told him I was like yeah man go ahead and grab it I appreciate it you know so when he grabbed them um you know he brought them to me and I like and like I say I like certain colorways on shoes so you can't go bad with the royal blue the gray the white and the orange I mean New York knit you know, New York Knit Vibes, New York Mitts, any any of those, New York Mitts, I'm sorry, any of those, you know, colorways on the shoe kind of make a little, you know, make a lot of sense to me. And the speckle bottom, this shoe is actually pretty comfortable, but long story short, he copped this shoe for me, and when he told me what he paid for it, I couldn't believe it. This shoe only cost me $8. He got a discount on top of the the uh, markdown. So that, that, that just show you that you can get dope shoes for like almost nothing by just looking elsewhere sometimes just by or just basically keeping your mind open so let's speed through these shoes right quick this is another one the new balance 327 like i said i've been my new respect for new balance has been the new models that they've been been putting out and like i say this one also has that vintage futuristic retro type look to it that 327 so um I grabbed a few of these, you know, I don't have a whole, whole bunch, but I grabbed a few of them that I like a little bit. And that orange and that yellow, like I say, certain color combinations I love personally. So that orange and yellow, I had to grab them. And another 327 that I cop. Um, this is one of the, I don't know if it was some of the first colorways on the 327, but it was some of the first colorways that I seen. And I grabbed this one and I had grabbed another one when they first came out. Like I say, I like the look of the shoe, futuristic, but vintage at the same time, something different, something fresh, and I know they're going crazy with the colorways now on the New Balance 327, but like I say, this is one of the early colorways, and I grabbed this colorway, and um, you know, I like it, I, and it's comfortable, it's a very comfortable shoe, okay, and this is the second shoe I bought that day, and you know, I had called my local Foot Locker and I told them about this model um, before it even came out, before it even hit stores, because I had seen it online. And um, I told them, if you get that New Balance 327, can you please hit me up or let me know and I come, you know, come copping. This was the second colorway I bought this, the same time I bought that one shoe I just showed you. And the colorways are similar, but I always like to try to get, like if a new model of a shoe come out, I'll try to get like one of the first few colorways and I don't have to have a whole collection of them, but I kind of do that just to, a nod of respect you know a nod of like okay i seen it i seen what you were doing with this i'm not gonna go crazy with it but i will like a couple colorways from that from that particular model so that's what i did with these okay speaking of another model the 550 and when i seen this for the first time this model man i had to have it i mean i know they got a lot of hype now and they got a lot of collabs that they didn't done but this is a general release and i actually was able to get this off a of newbalance.com and um nowadays that's something hard to do to hit on their website because their website is catching traction with the popularity and the rise you know so when i seen this it like i say it has that 80s look to it but it's still a new newer shoe but they well it's actually they they pulled this out the archives if i'm not mistaken so this is a uh, and it's in the future, but it come from the past. So once again, you know, nice shoe. Kind of remind me of a Jordan 2 man, a fellow uh, co-worker that likes sneakers. He was saying that this shoe remind him of a of a Jordan 2 and a Nike Dunk in a way. And I looked at it, I said, you know what? That do make sense. Cause if you think about that little piece right there, that do kind of look like a Jordan 2 in a soul. So, hey, and so, and I also got the Carolina blue color of that story behind these was uh it was a place probably uh, uh uh um i think it was a uh, hibbit sports and um it was in a city that's like 50 minutes away from here and i found out they came out on their website and i tried to get them off the website but they were sold out so um 
I, I called around to one that was nearby and the closest one was like, not I'm sorry, not 50 miles. It's probably like 30 miles from us since South Carolina. But uh, anyhow, I called them up and I asked them, did they get this shoe? And they said, yeah. And I asked the person on the phone, could they hold them for me? And they said, yeah. And they helped me two pair, man. And I was able to grab these for retail. And, and that was, that, that's a, and you know, I, I got in my car and I drove and it was kind of remind me of the old days when you could just kind of stay on top of releases and talk to people and have conversations with them and, and even put them on game sometimes. And they, you know, they have respect for you by doing that and they look out for you a lot of times. So, another five, oh, well, just the same one I just showed you, I'm sorry. My fault. Another 550, you know. That gray and black, you can't never go wrong with it. I hit I hit for these on the on the website. So oh no, it was actually on um it was on Sneak Sneaker uh Palace. I got these from Sneaker Palace for retail. And they you know they were just sitting on there, no hype, no freezing of the website, none of that. So and this was like the first colorway I grabbed in this model. Uh, I seen this, like I said, that red, white, and blue, man, it just looks so dope on the shoe. I, I switched the laces out, but, you know, like I said, 550, it's one of the ones that I kind of like. I don't have every colorway, but I do have a few. And last but not least on the 550s, I got the orange pair, and I got them, I got these the same day that I got them white and UNC blues. Same date, same story, same time. And this is just a clean colorway to me. And I'm a sucker for orange, as you've seen that one on that 327. I had that orange and yellow colorway. And this one got black. So anytime I see orange or white and orange, white, black and orange, man, it, it just get me for some reason. You know, it's a different colorway. And I had another pair of 574s. I got these from uh, In Clothing. I think this, this is called a vegan colorway. But this is a dope colorway, it's something different. I had never seen a 574 this colorway. And I just thought it was clean, man. And um it was a anniversary gift from my wife. So my wife bought these for our anniversary. We normally buy each other gifts. So she know I love shoes, so she caught these for me. So appreciate it, babe. And another new balance, just another 574. Like I said, I got a lot of 574s, man. I'm looking at a lot of 574s. This is the sneakers and stuff colorway. It kind of remind me of a skunk dunk. I know uh, New Balance came out. Well, it was a New Balance um, uh, Air Max. I'm sorry, Air Max One that came out, and it was similar to this. And people were saying that it was like the skunk Air Max One or whatnot. But this one came out before that, and this looked more like the skunk, if you ask me, because of the materials. Look at that. It got that long hair suede and the different shades of green with that purple. It just looked just like the skunk dunk, in my opinion. I think that's why I grabbed it. New Balance version of that, so I'm telling you, man, New Balance do do stuff. This five seven, this is a five seven four, but it's not like most five seven fours. This this right here is quality, and it's, I think it costs a little bit more. I think I paid like one fifty for these. I got them on release. They might be cheaper now, cause you know inflation and you know stuff like that. Sneaker market dropping a little bit, which will allow you to grab stuff like this. But I grabbed them when they first came out, and. And the last New Balance video I did, I had on the burgundy pair. So I'm, I I actually don't have them sitting in front of me, but you guys already seen them because I did a review on them. And this is that model of uh, 5740, a 5740. You know, I like this colorway. And I think these, I, you can get these online for a good price now, but when I got them, I think I paid retail for them. But like I say, it's that modern, retro, retro, futuristic, whatever you want to call it, look to it. It got that, you know, that futuristic, boost looking, Yeezy looking, whatever, whatever. But I just like the way it looking. Like I say, when New Balance come out with a new model, I try to grab a new model nowadays. That's what I've been doing. And this is not nothing hype. But I think they might be doing a collab with Bait or something like that. And they might be using this model for it. I'm not, I'm not sure. But uh, I have to look into that a little bit more. But I think I did see something when they was doing like a, a collab with Bait with this model. So and i got a few more couple more to show you and that'll be it and i thank you guys for putting in the time to just watch me just show you a few of my shoes so another 574 i got these for like 20 dollars from a local Foot Locker. they marked them all the way down and you know sometimes and uh, when you're alone this shoe the shoe journey and grabbing shoes and building your collection if you see a, a decent shoe for 20 dollars or something like that 
with a decent colorway, you know, and you got an extra $20 to spend, look, you can come up with something like that. So it don't really have, you don't have to spend a lot of money to have a, a diverse collection. And that's what allowed me to have a diverse collection by having an open mind and being able to grab and try new shoes, new silhouettes, and new brands that I may not always do uh, most of the time. And finally, another pair of New Balance. Uh, you know, actually, man, actually, actually, after I show you just got this right here, I'm gonna pause the video. And when I pause the video, I just realized that it is a few more New Balance on um, 574s that I have that I'm gonna just go ahead and show you. So after I show you this shoe, I'm gonna pause it, then I'm gonna come back in and show you those two. And I'm not gonna hold your time no more, but look at this right here. I got this when I worked at Journeys. I worked at Journeys part-time. Once again, working at Journeys allowed me to be able to grab shoes. When I made my, my first job, I may have to pay all my bills and I may not be able to grab shoes. Uh, sometimes, like with me, I used to grab part-time jobs just to grab shoes because that's my passion. That's what I love to do. That's what I like to do. I like to style. And uh, I just, it was before people started reselling the stuff, which I have sold old shoes to get new shoes. You know, I met people when I worked in shoe stores and stuff like that, but I got these from Journeys. And I got them for, with my discount, they were just sitting there, nobody was buying them. You can't go wrong. It could be a fall colorway and maybe something different. Hey, I grabbed it. All right, I'm back. Oh, man, I gotta stop doing it. I shake my camera and I get excited, but, um. I actually, I was wrong. I said I, it was three or four more uh, pairs, but it's even better. It's only two more pairs. So I'm going to just show you these last two pairs. And it's basically, it's crazy because it linked to that last New Balance I showed you. It was when I was working in Journeys. And it was a few colorways of the New Balance 574s that came through that actually caught my eyes. And like, it, like I said, at the time, I was still buying Dunks. I was buying J's. So it was like New Balance. If I seen... New Balances or something that caught my eye other than that, I would grab it, you know. It wasn't my focus, but if I could get it for a good price, like I would grab it, and I used my discount on these. Um, nobody was grabbing them, and well, a couple of these, um, one of these, I think that we only had a few in the store, so they could be limited. I, I'm not sure, but uh, at the time, it was just a shoe that came through Journeys when I worked there, so here's another one. It's, that, it's a dark green and an orange. I don't know if you can really see it with the camera, but it's a dark green and orange, like a forest green orange black and like i say i'm a sucker for that orange on the shoe especially if it's orange and black or orange you know orange and green I, i'm a sucker for it so this shoe was pretty dope to me and it's not bad with the quality uh they use a little bit of different materials the suede is all right it's decent on these and uh like i say there was another shoe that i grabbed when i worked at uh journey so like i say it don't always have to be hype it could just be what you like and just, just, you know, the new bounces that I done grabbed along the way. I'm not saying I'm a, 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 um, a savant in collecting new bounces or, you know, grabbing the high collabs and stuff like that. But I do like new bounces, as you can see. And that, like I said, that ties in with the story I was telling about me, why I grabbed that 9060 and that 327 just to kind of pay homage to the, the old love I have for them, but my new respect for them. So I basically got a new balance on the way I see New Balance. And the last one, another one that I grabbed from Journeys, like I said, that, that green and that orange colorway, when I see it, man, I have to have it. It's green and like an olive, more like a light olive orange. I mean, light olive green, and um, it has that tan colorway, and it's, it's, it looks like this is some type of, uh, I don't know if this nylon, I don't know what this material is, but it's a, uh, it's, it's, it's real different. It's not suede or nothing like that. But actually, man, this material has held up over time. Like, I had these for a while. Let's see. Uh, New Balance don't really put that. They don't put their date. Well, this came out in 2014. Yeah, they, put, they do put their dates in there. So I just pay attention to that. But this came out in 2014. And I wore, and I wore this shoe plenty of times, you know, as cycling through my um, collection or whatnot. And it's different, and I think it's great based off of nature too. See the trees right there, and stuff like that. On they got the uh, trees in the inside. So this is another New Balance that I grabbed along the way. That's pretty dope. And it's just like nature colors, but like I say, it got that orange, black, and the green. My three, one of my three favorite colors to see on the shoe. So I got a bunch, a lot of shoes this colorway, a variety of brands, a 
spread out your style. So uh, that's it, man. Uh, I'm glad you took the time out to check out my video, to check out my uh, new balance collection. Um, hopefully in the next few years it'll grow. Um, you know, I'm not caught up in the hype or nothing like that. I know they're doing a lot of collabs, but if, uh, if I had the extra money and I actually get to see it and I can get it for retail, then I'm going to grab it because... I mean, no disrespect, no hate, no nothing like that, but I just can't pay a uh, resale for a shoe. Um, I think it's more exciting when I can get it for retail and really, like, either get lucky by just going on a website and they have them or just whatever it may be. Uh, it's something to keep it, the feeling of buying shoes and, you know, staying true to it, uh, fresh to me by just still allowing myself to feel that excitement when I get a good deal or if I find a good steal on a shoe or find a shoe that nobody's looking at but it's brand new, a brand new model or just something totally different. So with that said, man, oh, by the way, I got this champion shirt that I grabbed from like Ross or something. Look, vintage look, champion hat. And last but not least, I'm going to take off my shoe and show y'all what I rock for the day. I rock these Harachis right here. Like I say, something different. I know Harachis, people don't really rock Harachis that much no more. It's kind of like how they did the phone posits. They was bubbling and people left them alone. You know, Harachis had their time when it was bubbling. But I always grab different shoes from different um, different eras of the sneaker thing. Like I got 90s shoes. I got different stuff. I got a variety of stuff. And this is just one of those shoes that I grab um, from those type of eras. So I always can, uh, if they ever resurrect or if they ever get the you know coming back around i don't really have to necessarily spend my money on it to stay up with the times it's like if you stay looking in the past or stay looking around and open up your mind you'll kind of be in the future with it so with that said holla back mm -hmm.